resize a t-shirt. I'm going to be using this band t-shirt here by Brown Show, one of my favorite new bands. And you can tell it is an extra large on this dress form when the dress form is my size. So we are going to take it in and make it fit. You might be wondering, how am I going to resize this shirt? What I'm going to do is be taking in the side seams and I'm going to be taking them in all the way up through the arm. So this way you don't have to actually take off the sleeve. And this is why this is the easiest method ever. I'm also going to be hemming this t-shirt because it is down at my knees when I wear it. Supply list time! Supplies are very easy. We're going to need your pins, you're going to need your chalk, you're going to need your matching thread or non-matching thread, and your scissors! Check out my super cool cheetah scissors. The first thing we're gonna do is turn our shirt inside out. So if you don't have a mannequin, you can do this on yourself and use a mirror, or if you have a friend around, Grab your friend, put it on yourself inside out, and have your friend help you pin. So I've got my shirt turned inside out, and I can see the side seam over here, the stitch. Now what I want to do is take it in here, and I'm gonna put a pin where I would want to put a stitch line. So we are going to put the pins in, so go all the way through both layers of fabric, and then pop it back out. And I want you to go ahead and do this all the way down the side of the shirt, making it as tight or as loose as you would like. And the benefit to this is that you can try this on, or, if you've already got it on, you'll know exactly how it's going to fit when you put your stitch line there. So here's the really cool part where you don't have to take off the sleeve to take up the sleeve because the armhole is so big. So what we're going to do is put another pin up here and you can see we're actually going to be going into the armhole, which is going to be okay. So I'm actually going to take this seam up into the armhole where you can see I'll be cutting off this much of the sleeve. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go around the shape, the curve of the sleeve pattern here. So I'm gonna put these pins going down the sleeve of the shirt. So you can see here that I have gone up the side. I've gone up past where the point of the sleeve is attached and I'm coming over across through the sleeve. And I still have a big enough opening for my arm, so this is also making the sleeve tighter, it's taking up the armhole, and it's taking in the side of the shirt, all in one stitch. So we're going up the shirt, higher than it is on the shirt, we're making a left turn here, and we're coming down the sleeve, so that way we can take in the sleeve. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's pin this other side up. Now that I have both sides pinned up, I'm gonna take it off and lay it on the table and we're gonna chalk it up. Now grab your chalk and we're gonna chalk where the pins are. I like to chalk right where the pins are on both sides of the shirt. I wanna do this so that way I can take out the pins and not have to worry about them when I'm sewing because they are vertical and I always want my pins horizontal when I'm sewing. Now you wanna go ahead and chalk up the other side. And one thing you might wanna do is measure on each side of the shirt where your chalk lines are to make sure it's the same distance on the right as on the left so you don't end up lopsided. Who wants to be lopsided? Now that you have your shirt all chalked up from where the pins were, we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and play connect the dots and we are gonna sew up the lines. I'm going to be using the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q. You can use any sewing machine for this project, or you could also hand stitch this. I know this seems incredibly simple, but what we're going to do is follow those chalk lines that we put on the shirt. Don't forget to back stitch when you're starting. 
So go forward a few stitches, make sure you go backwards, and then follow those chalk lines. Make sure your fabric is flat and that there's no bumps on the underside of it. Now this is the part that's going to feel scary because we're going up past where the underarm seam is into the armhole. But actually, it's so super easy and it's gonna take in your sleeve as well. So you are gonna need to make a turn here. And make sure that you have the ends of your sleeve lined up. Back stitch. And that's it. We took up the side of the shirt and the arm all in one scoop. Now that you've sewn up your side, go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that we've sewn up both sides, we're gonna go over to the cutting table and chop that extra off. Now grab your scissors and we're gonna chop off that extra. So I have drawn a chalk line where my seam line was because it was very hard to see, black thread on black fabric. So I want to cut about 3 eighths of an inch away from that chalk line. You wanna leave yourself a little bit of room so your shirt has a seam allowance. And a seam allowance is the fabric past the stitch line. And you can see that curve in the shirt that we've created that has also taken in the sleeve and the side seam all at the same time. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. If all you wanted to do was take in your shirt and the sleeves, you are done. But I'm going to hem it as well. So I've tried on my shirt and I've determined that I want to hem it six inches. So I've got my clear ruler and my chalk and I'm gonna mark five inches because I want to leave an inch for the hem. Now grab your scissors and cut out those chalk lines. I did it, I chopped off the hem. Now, let's go over to the sewing machine and hem the shirt. Now I've turned my shirt inside out and when we hem it, we wanna fold up an inch because remember we left an inch in there for the seam allowance. If you left less, then fold it up less. Now when I do my zigzag, what I want to do is go right over that raw edge. I want the zigzag to go on the fabric and off the fabric and on the fabric and off the fabric. taken in this band t-shirt, taken in the sleeves, and hemmed it. How easy was that? Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. I hope you had fun resizing a t-shirt with me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit the notifications button so you can see all of my other new videos coming out. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sew Anastasia for all my sewing adventures in the studio and Anastasia Chatska for my design world. And if you're in Chicago, take a sewing class with me. It's so much fun. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.